So this is the question I asked you guys on the other day. I did come up with this. I like it a lot, and 18,000 of you guys voted. Now let's go over it. First, I told you guys that we know square root of 4 is equal to 2. And by the way, if you say square root of 4 equals plus or minus 2, this is actually incorrect. Because the symbol means that just give the positive square root, the principal square root. Okay, based on this, can that help us with the value for square root of 0 0.444 with dot dot dot, which means that we have 444444 forever. Well, as many of you guys know, when we have a repeating decimal, we can also write it down like this. 0 0.4. The 4 is repeating, so just go ahead and put a bar above it. And then after that, take the square root. Isn't this going to be just so easy though? Because we know square root of 4 is just 2. So isn't this just going to be 0 0.2 with a bar above it? In fact, no. Right. That's what I like about it. And the answer is actually very nice as well. So if you haven't done this already, go ahead and think about it first. Alright, cool. Here's the deal. When we have a repeating decimal, it's actually pretty easy to change that to a fraction. Let me give you guys a few examples, and for a more detailed explanation, you can check out another video in the description. When we have 0 0.4 with a bar above it, notice that we just have 1 4 repeating, so we can just do 4 over the magical number here is 9. 4 over 9 will give you 0 0.44444, whatever. Let's try another one. If we have 0 0.3 repeating, 0 0.3333 forever, we all know that's equal to one third. Can this help? Yes. Only one of the three is repeating, and then divide it by one nine. Three over nine, reduce that, aha, we have one third. But what if we have two digits that say 0 0.12? The one and two are repeating, so we have 0 0.121212 forever. Same thing, but be careful. One, two are repeating, so put that down. Because we have two numbers that are repeating, this time we divide it by 99. And we can reduce this by 3, so divide it by 3, divide it by 3, reduce the fraction, we get 4 over 33, and so on. Again, for more details on this, you can check out another video for that. So here's the deal. We can actually come back here, 0.4, it's the same as 4 over 9, so we can just replace that with 4 over 9, and then take the square root of it. Now, because 4 and 9 are both positive, we can just go ahead and do square root of 4 over square root of 9. That will give us, right, let me just write it down, square root of 4 over square root of 9. And that will give us 2, right? 2. So this is where I will tell you the key information. But anyway, well, this is more like a distraction because that square root of 9, we also know 3 times 3 is 9. So, yeah, that's equal to uh, 2 over 3 altogether. And now, can we use this idea backwards? Sure, we can. Let's just go ahead, multiply the top and bottom by 3, so that I get 6 on the top over 9 on the bottom. And the reason I multiply by 3 is, once I produce the 9 on the bottom, just do it backwards, this means we have 0 0.6. The 6 will be repeating. That's why the answer is 0 0.66666 forever. Right? So hopefully this right here is helpful and fun. That's it.